You'll know him by his moves. Hi, I'm Veronica with WatchMojo.com, and today we're speaking with a man that's been educating and entertaining audiences all over the world. Your video dance through the ages has hit the internet by storm. Did you expect all this fame? Never in a million years would I have expected it to do what it did. You know, I just put it up, just to put it up. I mean, had I known, I don't know if I would have done things differently, but no one could have predicted that something like that would happen. Did you post the video purposely or was it put up by someone else? Some students that I had done some work with wanted me to put the whole video up so they could watch it and learn it for a talent show. So they said, go put up your video on MySpace. And I was like, well, how do you do that? And they were like, well, go use this thing called YouTube, I guess. Because at that time, nobody knew what YouTube was. It was still very, very small. And so I went and learned how to do it. And I just did it. And that was it. I didn't tell anybody. I didn't make a big announcement. I just kind of let it go. What would you be doing right now if it weren't for YouTube? Well, I'm very fortunate that I'm doing exactly what I was before. I was working as a professional speaker and was doing the dance at the end of my shows for about six years before the YouTube video hit. So for me, it's really nice because all that extra leverage and extra exposure just helped my career. It didn't cause me to go, oh, I should go do this now. I've seen this shirt in a lot of interviews. Is there a story <laughs> behind it? Funny thing is, is everybody asks that. The only story behind it was, when I decided to put a video on the internet, I went through all of my different footages that I had of me dancing, and I picked out the one that had the best video and the best audio feed. And it just happened that I was wearing an Orange Crush t-shirt. <laughs> At that point in time, the video was filmed in 2006. I had a, how many looks does it take to get to the center of a lollipop t-shirt, I had a Hawaiian punch, I had a reading rainbow, Crush, you know, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> So how do you choose your moves? The rule of thumb was, if you could see the dance, but not hear the music, would you still know what song was being played? You've studied the dance moves through the ages. What's your favorite one? My personal favorite one is probably the Apache jump on it. <laughs> which comes from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. It's one of those things where you either know it or you have no idea what it is. The key to this one is you look really serious when you do the hip part. And then when you do the little, little rope guy like this, then you kind of look like a big cheesy grin. So it goes And then, and then the other way. All right, so here we go. Yeah, you gotta do it at least once. So, and we're gonna go this way, so go. That's all we got for you today. Keep dancing. <laughs>